what you've seen before, the pH scale, which typically goes from 1 to 14 or 0 to 14. Right. Um, and why do we do that? Why do we take the negative log of the hydronium concentration? It's just because if you look at this concentration of H0 plus or H plus in the middle scale, the for just, you know, your average, uh, I guess, uh, acidic or basic conditions, the concentration of hydronium or H plus can vary from 1 all the way to 10 to the negative 14. So that's 14 orders of magnitude. All right? And usually when you're talking about scales that are that big, you know, large differences in order of magnitude, it's really nice to put on log scale. So that's why I do log. And then we take the negative, so then we get a positive answer. And that just makes it a lot easier to say. Instead of saying, oh, that solution is 1.0 times 10 negative 7. Like, that's kind of a mouthful. It's like, oh, that pH is 7. That's much easier. Good job, log scale. Self high five for log scale. Log scale doesn't get a shout out very often. It should. All right. Um, <coughs> and then, of course, we know that uh, any uh, pH then less than 7 is acidic conditions, right? Mm -hmm. Any uh, pH greater than 7 is basic, and that's just whether or not you've got more H3O+. Plus. If you've got more H3O+, plus, your pH goes down. Or if you've got more hydroxide in our basic conditions, your hydroxide goes up, your hydronium goes down. So if pH is less than 7, that means you have a higher concentration of hydronium than hydroxide in solution. And of course we call that acidic. If pH is greater than 7, basic. it's basic. What that means is a hydroxide concentration. We've got more hydroxide in solution than H3O+. Plus. Then, of course, if the pH equals 7, we call that, what do we call that? Neutral. And that's not because you don't have any hydronium or hydroxide, it just means they're equal in concentration, like for just regular water, from the autoionization of water. Because of the, they have a dynamic equilibrium. Yeah, and they would uh, equal, um, uh, uh, develop equilibrium at that point. And that's not how you spell neutral at all. It's like natural. Okay, not as common of a scale, but it could tell you all the information you need to know uh, is the pOH. Okay, so if pH is negative log of a hydronium or H plus, what do you think pOH is? Negative log of hydroxide. Yeah, that's like it would be. You can say it as potential of hydroxide. That's where the uh, P actually stands for. Uh, so um, the P comes from from the potential of hydrogen, and that's sort of an older terminology for reactivity. So if something was very reactive, we'd, they'd say it has high potential. You know, leading back to potential energy. Something with high potential energy is unstable and reactive. So acidic conditions have lots of H plus. So they're very reactive, and so the potential of hydrogen, that's where the P stands for, potentia, potential. All right, so POH, I'll have to edit that out for sure. I got a lot of editing to do, I always do. So POH is the negative log of hydroxide, <laughs> and We'll be able to do it a couple of different ways, but this is always going to be true no matter what conditions you have, okay? The KW is always going to be 1.0 times 10 negative 14. So if you know the hydronium concentration, you can figure out the hydroxide concentration and vice versa, all right? So this equation is always going to be there for you. 
help you out. Thank you, KW.